Oh, great. Another dead Vault Hunter. Handsome Jack's been busy. Wait, you're not dead! Finally! Now I can get off of this glacier. Right? You're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier! Clapjack, <laughs> your metaphorical ship has finally come in! Allow me to introduce... Alright, so for the YouTube crowd, because this is the first you're going to see of this challenge, uh, we are only allowed to use one weapon type each, and chat on Twitch voted for it. If you ever want to be included in further votes for other challenge runs, please give us a follow over on the Twitch. But if not, don't worry, we'll still post everything here. But... For the record, uh, Hunter here can only use shotguns, and I can only use assault rifles. But, as a caveat, we can use any grenade, our action skills, any shields, you know, anything we want besides that, but the only weapon we can use for myself is assault rifles, and for Hunter is shotguns. My push notification still says for Rock and Stone. I mean, Rock and Stone is eternal, so we'll go with it. Rock and Stone! There you go. That's the uh, first thing they get to hear out of my mouth today. Rock and Stone. Glorious. Wouldn't have it any other way. By the way, Absolutely. if you put your weapons in your backpack, you do swing your melee faster since you can't use those guns anyway. Oh, so if I just... Oh. <laughs> it's not by much. Fun. It's gonna be fun on a bun. I mean, you do get a shotgun pretty quick. As soon as we beat Knuckle Dragger, there's one in that chest behind him. We are also going to attempt to get as many of the unique weapons of our class in the playthrough. So, for example, the shotguns, the conference call, the rock salt, the flacker, trying to get as many of those as we can. I want to murder the claptrap. Ha ha ha, he ran into some more stuff, dumb idiot. Stinky. Close your eye, fool. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be safe. Weird flex to make fun of a blind man, but you do you, Greg. <laughs> Nipple salads. Protect me, Squire! This is so murderable. They're so squishy. Yes, Alex, what's with the hmm for? Let's go. I think we could get the sanctuary without his eye. Yeah, I, I feel believer. like I know the way. Oh no, technically you can't get past that cargo crate without it because he scans it. Yeah, but then doesn't he just break it and the AI that's with you does all the work anyway? Well, it breaks after he uh, scans his eye. But it's not his fault, necessarily. Oh, gotcha. And I will be trying to share as many fun facts as I can about this playthrough. <clears throat> oh, well, here's an incoming fun fact. Less, well, I guess less of a fun fact and more of a statistic. The boss ahead of us, Knuckle Dragger, has a 10% chance to drop the unique doll pistol, the Hornet. You know, it'd be a real shame if we could actually use it. <laughs> you fucking, yeah, this will be the playthrough I get it on the story. You know, I have a Miley on my lap. I'm jealous. I only have a plate of popcorn and a hard cider with me. Fuck you mean a plate of popcorn? A plate you mean of a popcorn. bowl, right? No, a plate. What is wrong with you? Oh boy. Yeah, Here let we me go. just go get a plate of soup. Well, it's from a bigger bowl of popcorn, but why would you ever just take it out of the bowl? Because the bowl is like two miles wide. Judge this man. Everybody, shun. Shun no. the psycho. I'm a psycho. Do you expect anything better? Yes. 
Well, that's a unfortunate C on your part. I'll go sick more of my child. He's running like a baby. Dingling. Nope, no story kill, thankfully. Oh, a Jacob's pistol. Yep, a Jacob's and a doll will always drop. I played this fucking game too much, don't worry about it. I I saw that, that was pretty funny to see. Uh, another fun fact for you. Krieg is actually heavier than all of the other uh, Vault Hunters. I didn't, well, I mean, I guess I could have guessed it a little bit. Like, see how high you can jump? Oh, yeah. Jump. Yeah, you don't quite get as high. I see. Okay. That and, though, if you blast jump, you won't go as high. Well, it was nice knowing you. Good yeah, I'm on Claptrap. Keep it going. Oh, let me check Open my weapon part. The door. Executing phase shift. Uh, I got a Vladoff rifle with what looks like a doll grip. I can't tell the stock, but that's a doll barrel. So I got stability. I don't know all the weapon parts, but I like learning. Have your shotgun. You now have a usable weapon. Just in time to you. Assert my dominance. I mean, you're, you're, if you're using a Jacob shotgun, there you go. I'm pretty sure it's Jacob shotgun. Yep. It is a one-shot reload Jacob shotgun with probably a reload time of about three seconds. You ever take... Oh, you got the rare two-shot. Normally, it consumes two ammo per shot, so you can't get more than one trigger bowl on it. Hmm. Then Flint. Uh, in case you didn't pay attention, in Borderlands 1, is Zane Flint's uh, younger brother. And, or not Zane Flint, uh, Baron Flint's younger brother. And in Borderlands 3, uh, Zane is his older brother. Hmm. Yep, they are the uh, Flint family. How's the shotgun treat me? Very nice. Top the fence and get to kill him. Free XP! See, I know a lot of the good shotguns in this game and like the unique ones you can get. I don't know a lot of the uh, assault rifles, so this is going to be interesting. No kidding. I'm looking forward to it though. Plus, uh, Axum is like the only guy who has assault rifle skills. So I'm kind of glad I picked him before you guys chose what weapon for me. Teehee. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been a bit unfair. Well, no, at the same time, like, any character can use any weapon. But I think Axon's the only one that has anything that boosts assault rifles. Actually, no, you do too. In your left tree. Ooh, that looked rough. For me... Uh, do I want to go with Metal Storm? Probably. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go uh, the Metal Storm build. Alex, did you buy any more popcorn by chance? I, I want some for unrelated reasons. To show me how to properly store it? You know, you don't even get the talk. I would prefer people who eat it straight out the bag than people who uh -oh. fucking put it in a plate. But it's a true thing, though. <laughs> it's a true thing. Then you it's get a, a different thing. size bowl and put it in. No, because... Uh, listen. What, do you want, like, eight pieces of popcorn in a thin layer with your fucking flat-ass plane of existence? So, he here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It it comes straight off the uh, stove top. It goes into a giant bowl, 
And then you get a nice serving sized plate of it. No, that's when you get off the stove and put it in a big ass bowl, and then you get like a cereal bowl at a time. Because then it's still a bowl and you get more than a plate. You can get a lot more in a plate than you can a bowl. Bowl fucking shit! That's the entire point of a bowl! Is it has more no, fucking surface microwave. area. 